going to be glittered up. It's going to have the detail painted on. Um, so as they dry, they also will look a lot better. The colours seem to change a bit as they dry. <laughs> Very pretty though. So as I said on the previous video, there is a tutorial on measurements for colour. Um, the colour part isn't as important as the other ingredient, the, the other amounts of ingredients. You know, you don't have to use as much dye if you want a, a more subtle colour. You can use a bit more if you want extra bright. <laughs> different again with the detail painted and of course the glitter It's a lovely neon yellow in the water. Give each colour about half an hour to dry before you go on to spraying another. Don't want to oversaturate our bath bomb because it does have a little bit of water in this mix. So these are Aurora dyes water solubles that I am painting with. And as you can see, I've sprayed the blue and I've sprayed a pink over the top, which has then created a, a purple look. <laughs> and as quick as that. I do have um, tutorials on how to spray with the bottle. If you want to spray with the bottle technique. So to make this colour up, just um, zero, I don't know if I've told you this, 0 0.4 grams of dye. You know, that's personal preference, how much dye. As little as water as you can get away with, but you need to fully dissolve. And um, 80, 80 grams of 99.9% .9 rubbing alcohol. And there we have it, that's all of them. Painted. Show you a few. Then it's going to have, and we'll do this part next, a good layer of the gold airbrush glitter on it, and this helps to slightly blend the colours and make it more of a shimmer can't see the strong lines of colour. So this here is from Aurora Dyes and, and it's a, a dry pump glitter bottle. Now you're not going to see this, are you? Like I am. But that is beautifully shimmery already. And it just pumps it out dry. Let me turn my machine off. Can 
you see that lovely sparkle? Try and pick it up in the, in the light. And you can see what difference it makes compared to one that's not had the glitter on. How it makes the colours more subtle looking and sort of blends the colours in together. Mm. So the buttons, we're going to do gold and black. It's going to have a black dye and it's going to have the gold airbrush glitter which you can rub rubbing alcohol add rubbing alcohol on in and and paint with the paintbrush or you can add it even to here to your dyes as you spray in and spray it on that way so it's already mixed in with your paint with your dyes so i love you and leave you my little boy's been good again aren't he? He's, he can hold his own bottle now, so he's drinking his bottle, bless him. I was expecting him to cry while I've done this video. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. So, you know, we've, we've made them together on the live last night. We have painted them together. Um, we will finish them off and do the detail, and then we've done them from start to finish. But when, obviously, like, I couldn't do these all the colours with you because I do like to leave them about half an hour in between drying each colour because if you think that this is made up of a very small amount of water in, in here to dissolve your water soluble dyes not much but a bit so when you spray one layer layer ee, when you spray one layer um, when you spray with them to go to spray with another colour I like to slightly overlap the two colours. So say I'm spraying with a blue and a red. If you slightly overlap, it will create purple. If you spray with a blue and a yellow, slightly overlap, it will create green. So I like to do that. So if you're overlapping colour on top of colour and giving it too many layers, it will create the bumps activation. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna love you, leave you, get my um, kitchen cleaned up. Terrible lot, it gets everywhere. He say it just gets everywhere, look. <laughs> so I need to get this cleaned up, wash my hands and um, maybe do a bit of a bit of cleaning up and get tea sorted for when my little one gets back from school. And I will see you tonight. I don't like to make promises, so I'm not gonna promise, but I am going to try. Seeing how I feel, how tired I am, whether the kids are good and so and whatnot. Um, I will try and keep doing having, doing these tutorials and lives with you so that you can see fails, so that you can see when I get them right, so that you can maybe pick up some new tips. But yeah. Thank you, bye. <laughs>